All right, guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. My name is Ryan. If I would have provided the masses a chart of the S&P 500 in late February and asked each and every one of that sample pool to tell me where they thought that the stock market was going to be with some level of assurance, okay, everybody would have got it wrong. Everybody would have got it wrong. The reason why isn't that we aren't capable of coming up with scenarios and hypothesis on where we think the stock market is going to go. It's a way for us to justify putting invested dollars to work, uh, coming to some sort of consensus on economic conditions, how strong or weak we think the economy are, and we can base some of those judgments off of predictions based on where we think the stock market is going to go. Here's the thing. We always put way, way too much emphasis on those predictions and we're doing it again. Okay. If I were to provide the same S&P 500 chart of where we've been over the last two months and asked the same group of people to perceive or, or forecast where they think the stock market is going to go from here, how many people do you think will get it right? Okay. Using what we know about historical performance of the stock market and the inability of people to forecast with any level of accuracy, maybe get lucky, yes, but any level of accuracy, we know from historical norms in the stock market that people have been unsuccessful in forecasting where the stock market is, go is going to go. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about when you should buy, uh, some strategies that I deploy personally, and I wish that there was more people talking about this, but I've been deploying capital throughout this entire downturn, okay? And I know I would have a lot of people that would come to me and say, Ryan, that the, the bottom isn't in yet. And the question back is, well, when do you perceive that the bottom is going to be in? And of course, back to my previous point, nobody has the ability to forecast with any level of accuracy when that bottom is going to be. So why do we continually base our decisions off of these premises? Okay, it's rampant in YouTube. It's rampant. Have certain stocks hit a bottom. Carnival Cruise Line is 80% off their all-time high. Is it now a time to buy? The airlines are recessed. They're 80% off their all-time highs. Should we buy now? Absolutely not. Nobody's ever going to fly on an airplane again, or nobody's going to go on a cruise ever again in the history of the world because they may report a few quarters that aren't up to snuff. Okay? We need to drive it down more. The irony in this whole thing is for the people who say that there hasn't been a bottom put on, these were the same people that when the Dow Jones Industrial dipped to the 18.2 on March 23rd, my question to those people, were those the people that were really interjecting cash into the market because they felt like they had uh, caught the bottom? The answer is no. Very few people have the fortitude to do that. Um, I did. I did. I was deploying capital then. Because I have abided by a very simple rule over the course of my investing career, and I don't regret a thing. Is it perfect? No. I don't operate in the stock market, and I don't try to achieve perfection. I don't buy a particular asset thinking that every asset that I buy is going to go up the very next day that I buy it, and then sequentially go up every day past that. So does it make sense for me to say that a bottom is in or, or what do you think, Ryan, we're going to have a V-shaped recovery or an L-shaped recovery or a W-shaped recovery or a Bravo-shaped recovery or a C-shaped recovery? I don't know. Why? Because I don't spend my time thinking about those types of things because I believe that forecasting those things with some level of accuracy is absolutely impossible. Now, I do think that there's probably a lot of people who are frustrated that they didn't have the foresight necessary. They had uh, some level of, 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 of epiphany that they didn't buy the market when it was at its 
trough low on March 23rd of the end of last month. And I think there's probably a lot of people who, in hindsight, wish they would have. Okay? Wish that they would have. I would contend that the utter psychology and strategy that those individuals are approaching in the stock market from a very, very short-term perspective um, probably wouldn't have been able to deploy that anyway because they're always looking for that perfect entry into the stock market, which we all know is impossible to catch. So you're asking me, okay, well then what do we do, Ryan? What do we do to succeed in the stock market? We know there's a lot of volatility. The volatility has come off a little bit. We're at the uh, just under 40 on the VIX right now, which is actually pretty positive. It seems like we've got some uh, softening of some of the curves and some of the data that we have coming on. And individually, these would not be things that I would invest in uh, specifically with regard to some of the data injects. Um, we're coming up on earnings here. That's going to be brutal. But I actually think that there's a lot baked into this market right now. Remember, we are still around 20% off of the all-time highs. And your question still begs to me, Ryan, what do we do? What do you do? Well, I can tell you what I don't do, okay? I'm not looking to forecast the next bottom. I'm not looking to forecast the next shape of the S&P 500 graph over the next two months. Uh, I won't do that, and I don't believe that it's possible to do that. What I will continue to do is what I've done over the previous 25 years of investing in the stock market, and you can... Uh, either believe me on this strategy um, in that I deploy it. You can take it and deploy it for yourself. Uh, it doesn't work all the time. But here's what I do to make it simple. I always buy on the red, always. And if I can piece together red days, I will buy more often than not on the second and third sequential days of sequential down days. Here's the thing. I'm going to run you through just a very, very quick arts and crafts exercise. One thing that I will guarantee you that the stock market is going to do from day in and day out, and that's either be in the red or the green. Let's talk colors. Either it's going to be up and it's going to be green, or it's going to be down and it's going to be red. I can guarantee you that it's going to do one of those two things from day to day. Would we all agree on that? Absolutely. So over time, if we are truly looking to invest for the long term, why are we trying to call a market bottom? Why are we trying to determine what shape the market graphs are going to take over the next couple months at the market? Because in retrospect, you will be right or wrong. The question that we all need to be asking is, what did you do about it? What did you do about it? What in reflection are you going to be able to say when you reflect over this time in the stock market, what did you do? And I can tell you what it is that I'm going to be able to say. It was volatile. It tested uh, even the most savvy investors. But what I did is deploy the same strategy that I've always deployed, and that is buy when the market is down from day to day. If you have the opportunity to piece together those sequential down days in the market, then it becomes more and more appetizing to a value investor like myself who can piece together those red days and scale into the market and always, always giving yourself an out. All right? Buy on the red days and watch the market and monitor the market on the green days. It's just as simple as that. You will never hear any language from me forecasting on where definitively the market is going to go. The market hasn't put in a bottom. The market is going to do this. The market's going to do that. It's futile to pursue this level of dialogue. What I would suggest for my subscriber base is to ask yourself, what is it that I want to say about myself when I reflect back on this time in the stock market? How did I act? Did I act with some level of discipline? 
i.e. monitoring the stock market when it's up? Did I take advantage of the dips? Did I catch the bottom? No, I didn't. Did I have multiple inject points into the market on red letter days, on down days? Yes, I did. And if you heard this message, you'll be wiser for it. Guys, subscribe to the message, leave your comments at the bottom of the video, and share the message with anybody out there looking the struggling with where, in fact, we buy this stock market. Do we buy now? Do we buy yesterday? Do we buy tomorrow? I don't know, but I've just given you a page out of my playbook that's helped me answer this question, not only over the last couple months, but over the course of my couple decades of investing in the stock market. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the video, and good luck in your investment future.